Do you ever feel that you simply want to be lazy and not care about any of your obligations? You just want to lay in bed and do nothing else? Everybody has experienced it and it is common to experience feelings of laziness, lack of inspiration and motivation. Now you're thinking, am I lazy or depressed? These ideas, however, are not the same. In contrast to depression, which is not a choice but a psychiatric disorder that requires more than self-determination to treat, laziness is the ability to undertake a task but the decision not to do so. It can be challenging to distinguish between depression and laziness in some situations. Given that depression involves a wide spectrum of cognitive, emotional, and behavioral characteristics, comparing them is made even more difficult. Laziness is merely a behavior that people may exhibit for a variety of reasons. Am I being lazy or depressed? Looking at depression from a slightly different perspective will help us better grasp how laziness can lead to depression. Both depression and laziness issues have an effect on your productivity, motivation, and energy levels. Consequently, it could be challenging to make sense of what you are going through. Take a step back and examine yourself if something seems strange. Determine your baseline first or how you typically or normally function. Only you are aware of your own potential and how you behave. Here are some of the symptoms of depression that go beyond being lazy. 1. You lost interest in everything. Your mental health is badly affected if you've noticed that your laziness has caused you to lose interest in and motivation for anything, including work and school. Even though everybody experiences days like these, it could be an indication of a mental health problem like depression if your interests in your hobbies, activities, and social life have completely vanished. You frequently lose interest in your interests when you're depressed and you often become emotionally distant from others around you. You would rather stay in and spend the majority of the day in bed at home because you simply lack the motivation to care about anything. When you start to feel like nothing is fascinating, entertaining, or rewarding anymore, it's crucial to take action because loss of interest frequently coexists with other depressive symptoms. 2. You can't cheer yourself up for unknown reasons, you can be feeling down and disappointed, and nothing you try to do appears to lift your spirits or improve your mood. Nothing appears to lift your mood much, not even sleep, comfort food, self-care activities, or good times with friends. Even the activities you use to like the most or spending time with your loved ones can't help you feel better when you're depressed. 3. You have trouble concentrating Longer than a few minutes, you might discover that you can't focus. It may only be a minor irritation at times. However, it can seriously impede your daily life over time. For instance, due to your inability to focus on a single task for an extended period of time, you might discover that you're getting behind at work or school. It's possible to struggle to fulfill deadlines or lose out on crucial information during a meeting. Also, because it's tough to have a conversation, you might also discover that some of your relationships suffer. The other person might think less of you if they catch you daydreaming in the middle of a conversation. 4. You can't function like you used to Do you think your laziness is out of control? Has it gotten out of hand for you to handle? Psychologists commonly use the four Ds of abnormality to diagnose depression. Deviance, distress, danger, and dysfunction are these things. Therefore, it may be necessary to talk to a mental health care expert about your laziness if it is making you dysfunctional, greatly interfering with your daily chores, and feeling like a continual obstacle in your life. 5. Lack of energy or feeling fatigue Fatigue is an all-too-common symptom of depression for those who experience it. According to Dr. Amy Rick of Your Doctors Online, Weariness or exhaustion is one of the signs of depression. Energy levels drop while depressed and many symptoms such as extreme melancholy and loneliness can make fatigue worse.
people who are fatigued want to do things but lack the energy to perform them, whereas those who are depressed have less of an interest in activities. This can be a defining characteristic. 6. Your laziness isn't a choice Most importantly, while laziness may be changed, sadness is more difficult to modify. This is the main distinction between depression and laziness. You may adjust how you feel about yourself if you're feeling drained or unmotivated to lift yourself out of a slump, yet it's more difficult while dealing with depression. We may encounter difficult circumstances in life that leaves us feeling lazy and thinking about not doing anything at all. These feelings typically pass quickly and you usually get back on track feeling motivated again to do so. But depression is more than just a brief period of melancholy or lack of motivation. Depression can induce a pervasive sense of emptiness, demotivation, hopelessness, and emotional indifference that is so severe as to significantly impair your day-to-day -day functioning. Thus, it is true that there is a reciprocal relationship between depression and laziness. Depression frequently manifests as fatigue, apathy, and a lack of motivation. The combination of them will probably give you a sluggish appearance and feeling. As a result, you can start putting off worthwhile endeavors, putting off significant obligations, and showing little desire to achieve anything. This could eventually develop into a maladaptive behavioral pattern that keeps you slouching along in depression. Depression symptoms can differ from person to person. Remember that everyone has gone through times when they felt lazy and low in energy. Our mind and body can suffer as a result of daily obligations, life challenges, and continuing duties. Therefore, taking a break and getting some rest are not only appropriate but also important. However, there may be cause for concern if your bouts of indolence become more frequent, continue longer than normal, or impair your ability to go about your everyday activities. If you're experiencing a serious feeling of depression, don't be afraid to reach out to anyone, whether it's your friend, relative, or even expert mental health care professional, and look for moral support and build up significant differences to overcome these challenges. Remember, when depression isn't adequately treated, it can also gradually creep up on you and get worse over time. Because certain signs of depression may appear to you as laziness, they may actually be indicators of a depression you're dealing with. However, an appropriate diagnosis can only be given by a mental health specialist. So if any of these applies to you, please take it seriously and seek professional assistance. That's it, and we hope it has given you some knowledge and comfort. Thank you!